Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dylan. We are back here with another bad video. Now, today I got one of my favorite plays in the entire game we're going to be going over. If you could do me a favor, though, if you are new to the channel and you enjoy this content, make sure to hit the like button on this video and also subscribe if you are new. Drop daily Madden content on the channel. And the goal is to hit 2K subscribers before Madden 22. I greatly appreciate it. if you are new, you hit that sub button. Now, the playbook that I'm in is the spread playbook or the uh, pass balance playbook. If you're in regular teams, it's going to be spread if you're an ultimate team it's going to be pass balance and the formation is going to be normal y off i really like this formation one because you got a quick base you got just a regular read option but you also got this right here a midline read option and that's the play that i want to go over but first i'm going to run a just a regular read option and then we're going to be looking at the difference with like a regular like nickel set right read option you read the d end right like okay he's playing that then you hand it off right pretty st standard stuff right now with the midline read option that changes so instead of reading that dn you're now reading the d tackle which if you watch any of my videos you know i said speed at d tackle is very important but i don't think there's any d tackles that are really like 98 99 speed that i know of at least like nine times out of ten the people that you're going up against probably will not have a d tackle that is able to keep up with your quarterback so what does this mean this time right here we're just gonna run with our quarterback see see and we get really good blocking as well now right there obviously if the receivers block the o-lines hold their block that's honestly a touchdown so we're gonna go ahead do that once again right here we're gonna go ahead run out with lamar go to the outside and then receiver just didn't hold his block but that's still like three yards of play so three yards of play on a play where your receiver just kind of lets you down right i think this has big play potential and i think it's really 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 good in the red zone for this play i really don't like motioning anyone either because if we motion this receiver over the uh, nickel cornerback is gonna follow right and that's just even more threats to that side of the field so i don't really like to do that and i also don't like to motion like the tight end over or anything too because that takes away a blocker and even if you motion marquise brown over that nickel cornerback is still gonna follow you so i think just running this play just base is really just the move and keep this receiver right here outside too just to try to you know keep that corner over there i think in a uh in the right situation you'd want the ball right here you'd want your running back on the wide side of the field just to give you even more space like this i was just running at the middle of the field because i just want to show off the play so right here we're just going to go ahead and run it again boom you see how the d tackle just kind of just you know runs off to the running back now right there the linebacker does tackle me but again that's like three five yards of play right so boom we're going to go ahead and run it again now that right there is what you want to see your lineman hitting that linebacker that is what will happen a lot of times in ultimate team and you will get like 60 yards with one play especially if you have that new rg3 or even lamar jackson ultimate team it works really really good one thing you really have to look out for is just your receiver on the outside blocking now he's going up against trey white and it's des bryant i don't think des bryant is statted too well in this game so you know if you have ultimate team like say you want to put a tight end out there go ahead and put a tight end out there but for the most part even if they don't get the good blocking right like right here he got good blocking and guess what we're out so that's pretty much what i was trying to show the entire time you know the linemen will go to the linebackers like their user you know they'll pick him up and this is against a four down lineman set let me try to find a three down lineman set this time right here we're going to go up against a set like two four five odd which is really kind of gaining popularity it's not exactly a three down lineman set but it'll serve the same purpose pretty much the three down lineman plus the rusher right here this time again you're reading the nose tackle which again is really really good and that time right there it got even better does ryan held on to his blocks and we're pretty much much out to the races yeah pretty much i've just been running spread i've been having a lot of fun running some things in this formation i think honestly it's probably one of the more slept on playbooks in the game let's go over why real quick too so you have a slot offset which is a really good running formation you got like a lot of spreads that has good rpos good runs a lot of like unique stuff but then also you got kind of like the meta stuff as well so if i want to go ahead and you know say i want to run like u trips or something like that right you can pretty much almost run u trips out of wide off trips week you just kind of need the motion 15 over if you want to run like trips tight end right trio offset pretty similar to trips tight end you want to run bunch their bunch isn't bad either they got z spot they got a mesh spot which can be mesh post flood they got bench pivot they got some pretty good plays out of that too and like i said they just got a bunch of spread formations and a bunch of just unique plays in this formation so i've been having a lot a lot of fun running this and it's kind of made men like i said more fun again it's making me like kind of like think with my brain and like have fun run the ball and stuff and you know if you're looking for a new playbook to try definitely try the spreader the pass balance playbook and let me know down in the comments if you did like this play in my opinion 
by far probably the best read option play in the game because you're reading that D tackle and you can just outrun pretty much any D tackle in the game with RG3. Yeah, man, like I said at the beginning, if you are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you are new. But other than that, it has been your boy Dill, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.